Wheeler will introduce an ordinance to stop fighting between protesters on city streets, but it does not come without controversy. Early Haas is live to explain why gaining the support of city council may be easier said than done. Elise. Well, you know, Ken and Jenny, we've been reporting on the mayor's protest proposal since he first announced it. And of course, there was quick criticism about it, especially over free speech. So the mayor is expected to introduce this new ordinance to city council today. And this would allow him to restrict some demonstrations and protest. Of his goal is that he hopes it will reduce the violence between protesters on city streets, like we've seen a lot of lately. And there are already laws about when officers can make arrests, but there are also concerns police have either been too aggressive or too hands off during some of those brawls. So the mayor will need help getting support from city council. So what this does is if somebody has not filed a permit, we have the ability to put them under a time, place and manner restriction, but only in limited cases, cases where we either know they have a history of violence or they have a stated intent of committing acts of violence. Some commissioners have spoken out on this issue, saying they're concerned how this ordinance will impact freedom of speech and assembly. The ACLU of Oregon also has legal concerns. They believe it gives police and the mayor too much power. So we'll be following the story today and we'll bring you the latest updates on air and online. Reporting live, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.